I'm John Franklin here alongside Matt Corso and Matt Quinnipiac suffers a loss today at the hands of the Fairfield Stags 2-0 in the MAC championship game. Early on in the game, 1 minute 50 seconds in, Quinnipiac lets up a goal. Take us through it, what happened? Fairfield came out firing from the start. They were just playing quicker, faster, and more aggressive, and it showed right there. They had a, Quinnipiac had a defensive breakdown in the middle of the defensive zone. Open player, easy goal. Now, Matt, moving forward later in the first half, Fairfield nets another goal to go up 2 to nothing. What was your feeling going into the second half, considering Quinnipiac has been a second-half team this entire season? Like you said, they've been a second-half team. They've outscored opponents 15-5 to in the second half this year. I thought they were alive. They were definitely dictating the pace of play after um, Fairfield scored two goals. I definitely thought they had it in them, but they just fell a little too short. Now, Matt, what would you say was the key to today's game as far as Quinnipiac losing to the Stags? What was surprising to me is they had 12 shots to the Fairfield Stags, 10 shots. Now, that's not even the best part of this. They had eight penalty corners to the Stags, four. They just couldn't connect on any of the penalty corners. Megan McCullough did a great job of getting the ball in, but the players around the arc just couldn't get the ball to the net. Shots were getting blocked. Big credit and kudos to the Fairfield Stags defensive uh, penalty kill unit. Now, Matt, Becca Main brought it up in the post-game interview that she's losing some four, four key seniors. What do you think the team's going to have to do moving forward? What leadership is going to have to step in in order to get back here next year and ultimately win this game? Well, I definitely think they can make it back here next year. Every good team loses players. That's just, the, that's just how it goes in sports. You know, you have a lot of players returning, though. Angie King, defensive killer. Savannah Riley with a couple goals, late game heroics in the end of the season to get them to this championship game. I definitely think that Angie King can has the leadership qualities to really coach up the younger players and put them in the spot to be back at this game next year. Matt, thanks so much for the insight. Once again, Quinnipiac loses 2-0 at the hands of the Fairfield Stags.